this is the YWCA here in South Tucson. They're having a huge community event called Healthy Tucson. Demonstrating Zumba. Gonzalez, How you larger doing? Larger than life. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm the president of Healthy South Tucson. We appreciate you guys being here. This is our seventh annual health and wellness fair. Uh, we're excited to have all these people. You can see it. I hear it's a pretty good turn year. turnout, and uh, we're excited. Uh, we want to, you know, this is the kind of community that, that we need to bring these kinds of resources. So tell me your vision for South Tucson. Oh, the Help. vision has to be, I think the first vision has to be is that people have to believe that change can occur. That's the very first thing that has to happen. Once they believe that, then it requires consistent leadership and it just requires grit. Dogged determination to keep moving forward in, 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 in the right direction. Forward. Keeping people healthy. And keeping people healthy and, and looking at the aesthetics of, of our neighborhood and we're looking at health across all aspects. The environment, uh, uh, people's you know health, personal health, uh, the health of the community, the business community, the schools, everything. It's all everything. Everything in community is connected, and it's important to realize that. And, and once we do, then then if we if we put our resources together, we're going to move this place in the right direction. And what a great example for other small communities. And we have been fortunate enough to be asked to go and speak to other communities as to how we do this. And this is all volunteer. It's all a very good group of committed people. Woke up one morning and decided we were going to take our garden to another level. So tell me about that next level. The next level is uh, we're going to use our garden uh, to help kids in South Tucson find their way to Harvard. Here's the book that when kids pass by or families pass by, they can sign into. It's called College Gardeners. The, we're specifically with the Best Day Ever Garden that's right here down the street on South Tucson. Mm -hmm. That one we work with a lot of the kids in the community so that they can learn how to how to grow the plants. Are you interested in gardening? Yeah. Are you the wagon driver? He is currently. Oh, you are. How are you doing? Oh. So I'm tell busy. me about this. Is that your? This is a um, family-owned business. We're the Fun Farm Choo Choo. We've been in Tucson for over 20 years now. Fun we have people who have ridden this train when they were kids and they have their own kids now riding in the same train. What's at your booth here? Well, I have, um, I do free leather work with the children, Indian friendship bracelets, and we talk about relationships, mom, dad, grandparents, maternal grandparents, paternal mm. grandparents. So we are concluding our seventh annual health and wellness fair. I think it was a success. We hope that uh, in the future that others will come and collaborate with us with what we're trying to do which is move this community forward because that is what we need. And that other communities will do the same. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If they have any questions on how to do that, they can certainly contact us to ask us, and we'd be happy to share information on how to uh, uh, mobilize the community and, and bring people together. We have a Healthy South Tucson Facebook page. Um, you can call me at 520-603-3439. And uh, LorenzoEG32 at gmail.com. The fair is winding down. And off into the sunset they ride.